Hello, can you hear me now, guys? Yes, they should. Yes, hello, hello, hello. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about the inconvenience. All right, so I understand uh, you guys had a a previous teacher, right? So, and your previous teacher just got sick and I'm, you know, working today instead of her, okay? So uh, let me introduce myself. My name is Rene. All right, I'm going to be working with you guys for the rest of the classes. I believe we have uh, like five classes remaining. All right, so... And I would like to have a uh, basically uh, a nice a nice rest of the classes, right? That we are going to double check together. All right. If you don't understand, if you think that Mr. Escamilla is talking too fast, just raise your hand and let me know and tell me, hey, look, I don't understand what you're talking about. Could you please slow down and repeat that one more time, right? So if you want me to repeat the information that I'm talking right now in English, I mean, in Spanish, I'll, I'll be more than happy to explain everything the times that you want, okay? So I don't know how how was the, the situation, how you guys uh, were working with uh, your previous teacher. Uh, to be honest, I don't even know her name. You can tell me her name. I believe her name was Xiomara, right? No? Anybody can tell me what was her name? Anybody can tell me your your previous teacher's name? Solo sabía que se llamaba Sandra. Sandra, okay, okay. So, uh, se lo voy a decir rapidito, ¿verdad? Para que nos vayamos entendiendo. Uh, me voy a introducir nuevamente. Mi nombre es René. Voy a estar este, este, suplantando, si esa es la palabra que se puede decir a, a mi Sandra. Este, creo que se enfermó. No, no sé qué pasó, ¿verdad? Entonces... Eh, Va a estar un, un par de días afuera, pero igual uh, I would tr eh, voy a tratar la manera de hacer lo mejor, ¿verdad? Tal vez casi como ella, como ella, como su maestra, ¿verdad? Y pues si se, puede hacer la, se pueden hacer las cosas mejor, pues mucho que mejor valga la redundancia, ¿all right? So, no sé si con ella estuvieron, si estaban eh, 50 y 50, si ella les explicaba 50 o every, oh, the whole class was in English. No vas a lavar, ya En el 4.3 estábamos, porque ya no tuvimos clase. Oh, en el 4.3, ok, ok, ok. No, pero me refiero a que eh, si era el, si el, el, ella le corría la clase a ustedes, porque quiero saber cómo están ustedes, ¿verdad? Para, para ponerme al, al, al día, si se les estaba, les estaba dando la clase 50 y 50, 50 español o 50 inglés. La mayoría de tiempo ella, este, quizá un 75% era inglés. Ah, ok, perfecto, perfecto, uh -huh. perfecto, perfecto. Sí, yeah, porque, o sea, uh, de igual manera, remember, esta es una clase de inglés, ¿verdad? Y a veces uh, habemos uh, estudiantes que no, 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 no logramos comprender y por pena tal vez no, no levantamos la manita y nos decimos, hey, mister, could you please repeat that one more time? All right, so conmigo siéntase, siéntase free, siéntase libre en repetir las cosas, oh, perdón, en, en, en preguntarme que yo, le puedo, que yo le voy a repetir nuevamente como se debe, ¿verdad? No se preocupe, ¿verdad? Aquí todos aprendemos, todos estamos aprendiendo y nadie es más, nadie es, nadie es menos, ¿verdad? Este, no sé si he tenido más de alguno en otra clase. Me parece que veo aquí a alguien conocido, quiero ver. Mm. Soy Lice Alvarado. Lice Alvarado, ¿dónde está? Quiero ver dónde está Lice, 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 Lice. Tal vez si me encienden las cámaras, if you play the cameras on, guys, maybe you can start listening in a better way. All right, so uh, I was checking, you know, previous classes that you guys had with Miss Sandra. Y estaba viendo que estaban viendo el, el pass, uh, el simple pass. El auxiliar, el, 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 el auxiliar did the irregular verbs. Esa es la, 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 la clase anterior que estaba viendo, ¿correcto? Ok, yes. okay perfecto. Yeah. Entonces, all right, first, first to the first, uh, once again, my name is René. I'm going to be your teacher. All right, I'm going to, uh, we try to explain the information that you guys had before with Sandra, okay? Let me just share some information real quick. Give me one second. 
and let me know if you are able to see what I'm checking right now. Okay, just a moment. Let's see. Give me one second. Let's see. Okay. In my classes, remember, all the classes are totally different. All right. So the classes, todas las clases son diferentes, ¿verdad? Let me know if you are able to see what I'm checking right now. Uh, in my classes, guys, I like to have my students motivated, right? So you need to be motivated, okay? So I do understand that this is uh, beginners, right? Model three or oh, English modulo tres, correcto? Estamos, sí? Perfecto. All right, so now just let's see. Okay, I see here that we have a 28 students. Very good, very good. I see here that some of you are just listening. Remember, guys, uh, probably probably you already know the instructions about how or why you guys need to have uh, or be uh, just, excuse me, just listening. If you are just listening, you need to send, you know, some information to the to the coordinators or to your teacher regarding why you are just listening, okay? So uh, let's see, let's everybody repeat, give me one second. Let me just uh, stop here because let me mute all of them. All right, so, and the rules are, are the next ones, right? So remember that we need to have uh, pretty much the cameras on because the system at the time when we are basically passing list when I when I am calling your names all right if I pass list right now cameras needs to be on all right so and you need to answer I'm here present or aquí estoy whatever you want to say all right whatever you want to answer okay so you need to have your cameras on otherwise the system won't recognize your information as well de otra manera el sistema no va a reconocer de que usted está acá Si usted tiene la cámara apagada y yo paso lista y digo, eh, Sarina, Susana, Galvez, Seren, y ella está con la cámara apagada, este, aunque me diga pre present, el sistema no le va a reconocer. Y después usted, se, usted va a aparecer con un, un porcentaje menos de asistencia. All right, esas son las, las, las reglas que le estoy dando, o, sí, las reglas para que usted esté al, tan, al, al tanto de lo que yo quiero que usted comprenda, si no se lo había dicho la profesora anterior, ¿verdad? Para que nos vayamos entendiendo. Segundo, uh, remember, if you have any question, just raise your hand and tell me, I have a question. Mi, mi apellido nuevamente es, es Escamilla. All right, so, or you can call me teacher, or, yeah, teacher or mister, I have a question. And third, sure. mande. Este... No, Y como tercer punto, acuérdese de que las actividades, no sé si le explicó su maestra anterior, se, se, no se tratan de completar, se completan antes del viernes. Si usted lo puede hacer hoy, que es miércoles, o mañana jueves, como deadline, ¿verdad? Hágalo, ¿verdad? Porque a veces sucede que usted hace las cosas hasta el sábado y el sistema ya no le va a reconocer su esfuerzo. Trate, trate de hacer su esfuerzo en los primeros días, ver lunes, martes, miércoles, si usted se queda jueves, viernes, sábado y domingo, chill, ¿verdad? Se queda tranquilito, ¿verdad? Entonces, esos son los tres puntos que quería compartir con usted. Y de igual manera, pues, como le repito, las clases conmigo van a ser igual, diferente. Trataré de hacerlo igual a la, a la maestra Sandra, siempre siguiendo los parámetros que se nos asignan por cada grupo. Ok, so now, let's rock and roll the class once again. Uh, we are going to be motivated all the time. And let's repeat, everybody. Motivation. Come on, let's go. Motivation. Repeat. Motivation. I can motivation. hear you. Motivation. 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 Very good. Very good. Motivation. Everybody. Excellent. Everybody oh, needs to. Perfect. Excellent. Excellent. Everybody needs to be motivated. Why? Because without motivation, you won't complete your goals. You want to. Get the things that you are looking for, right? So, sin motivación, usted no puede completar sus metas. Usted tiene que estar motivado en esta vida para poder seguir adelante. Otherwise, you would be like a, como pasando una hoja 
sin escribirle nada, una hoja de, de, de libro o de cuaderno, ¿verdad? Entonces, you need to be motivated, okay? So now let me read this quote, this motivation quote, all right? And then we are going to repeat it, you know, together, all right? So let's see. Okay, today is your opportunity to build the tomorrow you want. One more time. Today is your opportunity to build the tomorrow you want, okay? Hoy es la oportunidad que usted tiene que, que tiene que construir el, el, hoy es la oportunidad que usted tiene que construir el mañana que usted quiere. All right. So how many, how many times or how many months you guys are studying or you, you guys have, you've been studying so far? How, how, how many, how, I mean, how long time, how many months, in other words, más fácil, cuántos meses la mayoría tienen de, de estar estudiando? Like three? Two, four, cuantos meses? Anybody, Nidia, tell me how many months do you have? Uh, tres módulos, pero. Three models, uh huh. Uh, son cuatro semanas por módulo. Like three months, right? Three months. Very good, very good. All right, so, and this is the beginning. This is the beginning, all right? So remember, everybody needs to be motivated because today, today is your opportunity. Ahora es la oportunidad. Ah, oh, no, que solo es una, solo es una hora. Yes, tell me, Lisette, Lisette Alvarado, tell me. Uh, Good evening. Um, I, I study English in uh, the third model. This is the third, mo the third model, the third model. Okay, very good. Excellent, excellent, excellent. And remember why I'm telling you this, that today is your opportunity because today we are going to learn a lot of information, all right? No, it's just one hour. I know it's just one hour, but in, in one hour you can learn a lot if you put your effort, if you participate, if you the same thing if you ask questions, right? So now let's repeat everybody. Today is your opportunity. Come on, let's go, everybody. Let's go. Today, Today is your opportunity. opportunity to build the tomorrow you want. To build the tomorrow you want. Very good, very good. Uh, now everybody, everybody together. Today is your opportunity. Today is your opportunity to build the tomorrow you want. To build the tomorrow you want. All right, now I wanna, I just wanna see a like. You know, let me, let me see a like that you guys are going to approach. You are going to get the opportunity that you have. Mande me un like. Que está de acuerdo que usted se va a, se va a poner las pilas y va a tomar esta oportunidad para que usted este, construya el mañana que usted quiere. Mándeme un like y le voy a creer. Very good. Go ahead. Vamos, everybody. Let's go. Excellent, excellent. Solo Luis me lo ha mandado. ¿Quién más? Let's go. Excellent. Very good, Rosa. Very good, uh, Serena. Let's see everybody else. Everybody else. Iris. Very good, very good, very good. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. So now I understand, guys, that you already know some uh, English words, right? So if I ask, let's see, if I ask you some questions, if I said, uh, Krisha, tell me your full name, what would be your answer? Krisha Dorila Menjiva Rivera. Very good, excellent. If I ask Alma, tell me your full name, what would be your answer? Alma, can you hear me? So yo teacher, pero yo que este me cuesta bastante el inglés ahorita. All right, not a problem, not a problem. You will learn. Don't no worries, okay? No worries, okay? So everything is everything will be okay. All right. So now uh mm -hmm. the reason that I'm asking this question is because I just need to know how how much English you know. All right, so I just asked Krisha, as I asked her, Krisha, could you please tell me your full name? And she told me her full name, right? Two names and two last names, okay? 
If I ask Mercedes, could you please tell me your full name? What would be your answer? Mercedes Elizabeth Barrientos de Valencia. Very good, very good. Excellent, excellent uh, Mercedes. All right, so, but the right answer, what would be the right answer, guys? The right answer would be like this, all right? My full name is, remember that you need to acknowledge, acknowledge the question, all right? Porque ahorita usted me contestó como, como, como somos, ¿verdad? Teacher, student. Pero uh, me contestó como que ya tuviéramos, like, five years que nos conocemos, ¿verdad? Entonces, ya, usted ya sabe de que ya, yo ya sé que usted se llama Crisha y ella me dijo su full name. Pero si no nos conocemos, la mejor respuesta sería acknowledge the question first. If I said, hey, what is your name? I'm sorry, what is your name? Oh, my name is... Christian Mengibar and blah, 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 ¿verdad? If I ask, uh, how old are you? I am 25 years old. I am 30 years old. I'm 40 years old. No solo me va a decir 17, 21, 20, 21, 22, no. Porque ahí estamos siendo like, estamos sonando un poco, no grosero, pero... No estamos acknowledge the question, all right? So this is just the beginning, all right? No worries, all right? So I'm just, I'm giving you some, some information about it. Now, let's see. Today is your opportunity to build it tomorrow, uh, to build it tomorrow you want. We are aware about that. Estamos de acuerdo con eso. Ahora, let's see. Let me ask real quick to, let's see. Um, Wilbur, be my guest, please. All right, Wilbur, tell me. Or read this uh, tongue twister uh, slow, and then you will you will read it faster. Go ahead. But first, let me read it. Let me read it for you, and then you help me. Okay. Let me read it for you. Betty bought butter, but the butter was bitter. So Betty bought better butter to make the bitter butter better. Come on, let's go now. Help me. Okay. Betty, Betty bought. Um, very bad bitter, but the bitter was bitter. So, uh, very mm -hmm. bad bitter. Um, I uh, you know, butter better, butter better, mm -hmm. butter better mm -hmm. to make the bitter butter better. Okay, excellent. Okay, now everybody, very bad. Very bad. Very bad. Butter, but the butter. Butter, butter, butter. butter. Was bitter. Was bitter. So very, so very bad. So very bad. So very bad. To make the bitter butter better. To make the butter better, better, better. Excellent, excellent. Why? Very good, very good. Excellent. Why, um, why, Mister Mister Escamilla is uh, double checking this with you because I want you, to, you guys, you know, word your tone. All right. So, podemos hablar ahorita del simple present, simple past, simple future. Alphabet, numbers, color, consonant, colors, consonant, numbers, everything you need, everything you want, we can be talking right now. But if you don't have fluency, it's like a, you don't have nothing. All right? In my humble opinion, in my humilde opinion, porque la lengüita la tenemos así, enrolladita, ¿verdad? Está enrolladita, no se quiere soltar, no se quiere soltar. Entonces, Ahora, no le voy a preguntar a todos, a los, quiero ver cuántos habían, 29, no, 28, ¿verdad? Pero por eso estamos haciendo este ejercicio. Le recomiendo que busque trabalenguas en sus tiempos cortos y los practique. Primero los practica suavecito, ¿verdad? De esta manera, usted dice, por decir, uh, dice, Betty bought butter, but the butter was bitter, so Betty bought better butter to make the bitter butter better. All right. Y después te le mete, le mete quinta, ¿verdad? Very bad butter, but the butter was bitter. So very bad, a better butter to make the bitter butter better. All right. So that would be uh, an exercise 
some exercise that is going to help you a lot. Okay, so now, dicho esto, vamos a pasar a lo siguiente. Give me one second. Let me just share this information with you. Just a moment. Let's see. Let's rock and roll the class now. Just a moment. Let's see. One second, one second. Okay. Share screen. Let me know if you are able to see what I'm checking right now, guys. All right, so just remember, this is a, a quick review, right? This is a quick review that you guys checked with Sandra last class. All right, esta es una, una clase que ustedes ya la verificaron la vez pasada. Pero esta es una, un review que usted va a tener conmigo tonight, all right? So it says like this, right? Do you know one of those things last week? Did you do, I'm sorry, did you do one of those things last week or weekend? All right, so I just want to make sure if you guys are understanding Solo quiero saber si estamos entendiendo esta pregunta. If I said, uh, if I ask, let's see, pero me voy a pasar todos, a todos aquí abajo porque los quiero tener cerquita. Vamos a ver, permítanme. There we go. Okay, if I ask Francisco, do you understand this question? I mean, do you know what, what the question is, uh, is asking to everybody if I ask you, did you do one of those things last week or weekend? Uh, so, so? <laughs> yes, right, right. Yeah, very good, very good. And remember, uh, with me, you will you will learn a lot of information. All right, you will learn some. Come uh, say it's like you will you will learn things that we don't supposed to learn in these classes, right? So no worries, we are going to learn a lot, all right? So the things that you guys probably did last week or weekend, all right? For example, in my case, what was that, what what, what I did last class, I mean, last, last, uh, last weekend, I went to the park, all right? I went to the park. For example, if you ask me, uh, coach, do you, uh, do you go, do you go to the car to to the park last weekend? I will say yes. I I went to the I went I went to the park. Y si se mira cuando me pregunto, si usted se fija, el did always is gonna be an auxiliary, right? Y el verbo nunca va a cambiar. Acuérdese de eso. Yo creo que se lo explicó Sandra, right? So she she might um probably she explained you guys how you guys are going to ask what you guys did last weekend all right so if i ask rosa irma what do you do what do you do last weekend tell me just a simple answer right don't give me details just simple answer don't worry um i uh, i washing the clothes i was um, uh-huh Washing clothes, um, study, mm -hmm. and the university. University. Uh, um, cleaning the house. Excellent. Very good. Excellent. Excellent. What about okay. you, Liz? Thank you. Thank you. What about you, Lizette Alvarado? You just raised your hand, Lizette. Who's Lizette? Let's see. I I don't see Lizette here. Hello. Hello, teacher. Ah, uh, yes, I, go ahead. I do uh, uh, to work, mm -hmm. work in a restaurant, uh, visit my family, mm -hmm. I visit the church con with my family. Mm -hmm. uh, I can't. It's okay. Just one one thing. Don't no worries. But remember, we are talking about the things that we did. But the the topic here says top top eight things people hate to do. For example, if I ask, let's see. One second, let's see. 
Now let me go ahead and put you over here. So if I ask, let's see, Sarina, do you hate to do these things? And what other things do you hate to do? And why? Do you do you hate to stand in line? Everybody hates that, right? Yes. I hate that. Yes, yes I yes I do. Yes. yes, I do. Very good, very good. So if I ask Doris, Emilia, do you hate to do laundry? Yes, I hate. Yes, I do, right? So remember, sure and sure question, right? So yes and no question, remember. All right, so yes, I do, no, I uh, no, I don't. All right, so that, that would be your answer, okay? So if you see over here, the top eight things people hate to do, is stand in line, do laundry, travel to work, go to meetings, exercise, work in the yard, clean the house, open the mail, all right? So those are that A, things people hate to do. All right, so if I ask, let's see. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Uh, Iris, Milena, do you hate to do exercise? No, I don't. Very good, a very good answer. And why? <laughs> uh, because it's important for my health. Health. Help. Very good. Excellent. Round of applause for you. Okay, let's see. Um, give me one second. Uh, Camila, do you hate to do uh, go to meetings? Yes, I do. Why? Because I don't like it. Because I don't like it. That's it. Simple, right? So if you don't want to give more details, explanations, be specific, right? Precise and concise, all right? Very good, right on, my class. All right, so friends, uh, let's see, Luis, do you hate to travel to work? Uh, yes, I do. Why, uh, uh, Luis? Because sometimes travel to work is stressful. Stressful, very good, because especially when you travel, uh, when you ride the bus, right? Yeah. It's stressful, annoying, crazy, in other words, right? So when you are uh, riding the bus. Okay, okay, very good, very good. Let's see. Uh, let's see, permítame, que aquí tengo mucha gente. Vamos a ver, pero solo po pocos tengo en... Lean, eh, perdón, con la cámara activada, okay. Eva, Alicia, Costanza, Costanza, tell me, do you hate to work in the yard? Uh, yes, yes, I do. Yes, I do, and why? Why, Eva? Uh, because, um, um, it's pretty hard, right? It's pretty hard. It's kind of like uh, annoying because you have to be outside of the outside of the place. Very good, very good. All right, so not a problem. Let's see, Adriana, Gabriela, do you hate to clean the house? Yes. <laughs> yes, I do. Or no, I don't. Yes, I do. <laughs> All right, excellent, all right, excellent. And why, tell me. Um, I don't know, it's boring, maybe. It's boring, all right, so, all right, so. Okay, I understand that. Okay, let's see, uh, Wilbur, Enrique, uh, do, you, uh, do you hate to open the mail? Mm. Um. Yes. Yes, I do or no, I don't? Mm. No, I don't. No, I don't? Why? Why you don't hate to? Um, porque no me gusta. Because, I mean, but you, you, you answer, yes, I do. I ask you, do you hate to open the mail? You say, no, I don't. 
And why you don't you don't you don't hate to open the mail? Your answer could be because it's easy. It's easy to open the mail. It's not a big deal. All right. So that could be your answer. All right. Very good. Very good. All right. So these uh, things that we have here, guys, are the top eight things that people hate to do. In my case, I hate to stand in line. I don't know what happens, but when you go to the bank, it's one of the places that you don't like to be, right? I hate to be waiting and just for a, a simple answer like a, no we don't we don't do that that kind of that I mean we don't do those kind of transactions that you are looking for. A veces usted va al banco y espera casi una hora o más solo para que le digan no no hacemos ese tipo de transacciones y usted solo le hace una sonrisa así bien una sonrisa colgate, ¿verdad? Gracias, gracias. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for your for your lovely answer. Y usted ya le dice muchas cosas con su mirada, ¿verdad? Le dice muchas cositas, ¿verdad? Pero eso es punto y aparte. I I do like to do my laundry. I mean, it's not a big deal because we have to do that, right? We have to do our laundry. So there's no there's no options. There's no ways that we can say, well, in my case, I would say I do like to do, I don't hate to do my laundry, you know? Why? Because it's my it's my clothes that I'm washing. Remember, guys, acuérdese de que siempre que si le están preguntando algo en presente, usted trate de contestar, no trate, conteste en presente. Si yo le pregunto en pasado, contésteme en pasado. ¿Verdad? Si yo le digo, what do you do? No sé si le explicaron esto anteriormente en los cursos anteriores, pero el do es un verbo y es un auxiliar, ¿verdad? Entonces, ahí no se me confunda con esta pregunta. Si yo le digo, what do you do last weekend? Y usted dice, oh, no me voy a decir que I go to the, I go to the beach. No me voy a decir a ahí porque ahí eso está, o sea, está equivocado, ¿verdad? Entonces ahí cambian ya los verbos, ¿verdad? Acuérdese. I went to the beach. I went to the park. I... Ahí entran los irregular verbs, right? Acuérdese, los verbos irregulares. I washed my clothes. Lavé mi ropa. I watched the game. Vi el partido. I went to the stadium. I ate pupusas with my family. All right? So, remember, remember, uh, remember about that, okay? So now, let's see. Teacher. Yes. Who said teacher? For, for example, I work, I go to work in the, in the weekend. In the, on, on the weekend? Ah, si le pregunto, what did you do last weekend? I went to work. Fui a trabajar. Fui a trabajar, así es sencillo. I went to work. I went to work, o oh, si se le hace difícil, acuérdese que ahí está el verbo irregular. ¿Cuál es el, el verbo base? Me imagino que me le enseñaron esto, ya lo vamos a ver. La verdad que le, le enseñó esto a la teacher o los teachers anteriores. A ver, permítame. Ok. Verbo, verbo, uh, the base form is work, right? Work. Y past tense would be, oh, perdón, ya, yeah, past tense o, o el, el, el pasado, el verbo pasado que trabajó sería worked. All right. Worked. So, uh -huh. O sea, usted puede decir, I went to work, solo con la K. O puede decir, I worked. I, I worked. I just, I worked. ¿Verdad? O sea, a veces la gente no es que va a estar escuchando, pero se entiende. ¿Verdad? Si yo le digo, what did you do last weekend, uh, Iris? Y usted me dice, Iris me dice, I worked eight hours. Las, pero me, me acknowledge the question, ¿verdad? Me hace énfasis en la pregunta 
y en su respuesta me hace énfasis. Pero si solo me dice, le digo yo, ¿qué hiciste el fin de semana? Trabajo. Yo trabajo. Mm. O sea, me quedo así como este, pensando, la verdad que trabajo. Ok. Pero si usted me dice, I worked eight hours and I was so exhausted. O sea, usted ya me dio detalle, ¿verdad? Trabajé el fin de semana y estaba bien cansada. Cansa. Bien cansada, ¿verdad? Very good, very good. Any, any other question, guys? Any other questions so far? Okay. No questions? Okay, let's go. Give me one second. Let me pass over here. Vamos a limpiar esto acá. Okay, one second. All right. All right, let's see. All right, this is a conversation where you guys are going to apply some information related to the topic that we are reviewing so far together. Esta es una conversación en la cual usted va a verificar eh, información de la que estamos hablando, ¿verdad? El auxiliar did, verbos irregulares, que son los que estamos tratando de entender, ¿verdad? El tema está un poco extenso, pero lo estamos haciendo un poco corto, ¿verdad? Para que lo entendamos de una mejor manera. Y aquí nadie lleva carreras, ¿ok? No se preocupe. All right, conversation. Do you have a good weekend? Do you have a good weekend? Let's repeat. Do you have a good weekend? Come on, let's go, everybody. Do you, Do you have, have, you have, you have a, a good weekend? weekend? What would be your answer, Wilbur? If I ask you, Do you have a good weekend? What would be your answer? <coughs> Me preguntó, Ticha. Ya, yeah, le, pregun le pregunté, Wilbur, do you have a good weekend? What would be your answer? Um, only, only work. Mm -hmm. I understand um, that. I, day, I, day. Okay, okay. I understand the part, but remember our answers when somebody's asking you. Ya voy con usted, Lizette. Ya voy con usted, Lizette. All right, so when when somebody's asking you, do you have a good weekend? Your answer needs to be, yes, I did. No, I didn't. Huh. Right. Y así es simple. Ya si usted me quiere dar detalles, ya es eh, cosa muy, muy personal que nos conocemos, ¿verdad? Uh, okay. pero, pero si ya alguien le pregunta, digamos, su jefe en su trabajo, le dice, hey, Wilbur, do you have a good weekend? Ah, yes, I did. Y así quiere ser usted, y que hay que ser, hay que tener empatía, ¿verdad? Okay. Empathy, right? Empathy all the time. If, if somebody is asking you some questions, si yo le pregunto, hey, how are you? How you doing? How you doing, Doris? So, Doris, la, la respuesta de Doris, ¿cuál sería? Si yo le digo, Doris, how you doing? I'm Very good. But I, 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 so le digo yo, hey, Doris, how are you? How are I'm you tonight? Fine. Ajá, y la empatía, ¿dónde está? Hello, how are you? Ajá, exacto, exacto, ¿verdad? Si yo le pregunto, hey, Doris, how are you tonight? Very good, uh, coach. What about you? Excellent. Thank you so much for asking. Y ahí empieza una conversación bonita, ¿verdad? Entonces, lo mismo acá. Si usted me quiere dar más información, Wilbur, si yo le digo, hey, do you, do you have a good weekend? Entonces, usted me dice, yes, I did. Thank you so much for asking, uh, coach. What about you? Oh, excellent. Very good. I had a very nice weekend. Thank you so much for asking. Y ahí nos quedamos, ¿verdad? Punto y aparte. Okay, so now, let's see. Okay. Excellent, excellent. Okay, so let me read it for you and then everybody's going to be participating, you know, real quick. Okay, so let's see. Michael, Jennifer. Okay, so Michael, do you have a good weekend? Jennifer, yes, I did. But I feel a little tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I exercise in the morning. Then my roommate and I, then my roommate and I clean and I shop. And then I visit my parents. 
So, what do you do on Sunday? I study for the test all day. Oh, no. Do we have a test today? I didn't study. I just watch TV all day. All right. So, very good. Let's see. I believe we still have time. All right. So, let's see. Uh, Iris and Francisco. Iris is going to be Jennifer and Francisco is going to be Michael. Come on. Let's go. Did you have a good weekend? Yes, I did, but I feel a little tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I exercise in the morning. Then my roommate, my roommate and I cleaned and shopped. It, and then I visited my parents. So what did you do on Sunday? I studied for the test all day. Oh no, do you have a test today? I didn't study, I just watched TV all day. Excellent, very good, round of applause for you. Wilbur, uh, Wilbur and Nidia, be my guest. Come on, let's go. Did you, did you have a good weekend? Yes, I did, but I feel a little tired today. Really, why? Well, on Saturday, I exercise in the morning, cleaning rooming, and I cleaning in chopet, and then I visited my parents. So, what did you, what did you do on Sunday? I student for the test all day. Oh no, do we have a test today? I didn't study, I used watch, watch TV all day. Excellent, excellent. Okay, Mercedes and excellent. William, please go ahead, be my guest. Did you have a good weekend? No se lee, Mercedes. Ahora sí? Yes, go ahead. Okay. Yes, I did, but I feel a little tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I exercise in the morning. Then my roommate and I cleaned and shopped and then visited my parents. So, what did you do on Sunday? I started for my tests all day. Oh, no. Do you we have a text today? I didn't study. I just watch TV all day. Thank you. Okay, Luis Antonio and Doris, please be my guest. Did you have a good weekend? Yes, I did, but I feel a little excited today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I exercise in the morning, then my roommate, and I clean it and shop it. And then I visit my parents. So what did you do on Sunday? I studied for the test all day. Oh no, do we have a test today? I didn't study, I just watched. To be all day. Thank you, uh, Nidia, Jamie Lex, and Wilbur. Please be my guest. Otra vez, yo, teacher. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, Nidia and yo Luis Alberto. También. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, let's see. Uh, Sarina, Susana, and and William Vladimir. Ya pasó, William? Yes. Yeah. Okay. And uh, Serena, Susana, and Pamela, please be my guest. Go ahead. Did you have a go weekend? Yes, I did, but I feel a little tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I exercise in the morning, then my roommate, and I clay and shop it, and then I visit my parents. So what uh, what did you do on Sunday? I studied for the test all day. 
Oh no, do we have a test today? I didn't start it. I just watched him TV all day. Thank you very much, uh, Lisette, uh, Alvarado, and Jose David, please be my guest. Did you have a good weekend? Yes, I did, but I feel a nice tired today. Really? Why? Well, well on Saturday, I started in the morning, then my room, and clean, I clean and super, and then I visit my parents. So, what do you do on Sunday? I study for the stairs I already. Oh no, we do we have a test today? I didn't study, I just watch a TV all day. Thank you very much, Estela Marisol and Carlos Mario. Please be my guest. Go ahead. Did you have a good weekend? Yes, I. Go ahead, go ahead. No se le escucha. Me escuchan. Can you hear me, guys? Yes, teacher. Okay, yes, so, so uh, what happened with Carlos and the other lady? They cut off. All right. All right, we will continue in a minute. Just let me pass uh, Liz uh, real quick. Give me one second. Let me get back with you in a minute. Let's see. Coach. Yes. Go ahead. Luego que, luego que termine de pasar la lista, puedo hacer una pregunta. Uh, of course. Se puede hacer las okay. preguntas. Yes, yes. Just a moment. Let's see. Okay. One second, let's see. All right, give me one second, let's see. Uh, ¿Cómo se llama la muchacha? Se llama Sandra, right? Hello, teacher. Yes. Sorry, eh, como que se me trabó. <laughs> All right. No hay problema, no hay problema. Ahorita vamos a pasar lista, permítame, vamos a ver. Vamos a ver. Vamos a ver. Permítame. Ok. All right. Seven, seven. So you've been with the same teacher all the time, guys? ¿Han estado siempre con la misma maestra? Yes, coach. Okay, very good, very good. All right, let's see. Okay. No, okay. All right. All right, okay, 11. All right, Adriana Gabriela and Ricky Vasquez. Present teacher. Thank you. Alma Patricia Rivas. Present teacher. Uh, Ana Lisette Avalos Alvarado. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Brenda Esmeralda eh, Carías Carías. Thank you, Brian Alexander Tejada Francia. Present teacher. Thank you, sir. Camila Lisette Casum Villalta. Present teacher. Thank you, Carlos Mario Lopez Ayala. Present teacher. Thank you. Doris Emilia Alfaro de Galvez. De Galvez, perdón. Present. Elvis Leonel López eh, Quevedo. He's not here. Wow, este hombre. Okay, Estela Marisol Vázquez Díaz. Present, teacher. Thank you. Eva Alicia Costanza Alvarado. Present, teacher. Thank you, miss. Francisco Samuel Sánchez Corvera. Present, teacher. Iris Milena Mejía Morán. Present. 
Jennifer, thank you. Jennifer Elizabeth Portillo Hernández. Present, coach. Thank you. Uh, Jose David Rodríguez Méndez. Present. Thank you, sir. Okay. Uh, Karen Guadalupe Cetino eh, Cabrera. Present. Crisia uh, Dorila Mejibar Rivera. Present. Thank you. Uh, Luis Alberto Mejibar Santa María. Luis, Luis Alberto Mejibar Santa María. Present teacher. Okay, thank you, sir. Luis Antonio Ortiz Benítez. Present teacher. Thank you, sir. Mauricio Enrique Crespín López. Present teacher. Thank you, sir. Mercedes Elizabeth Barrientos de Valle. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Nidia Yamilés Calero Trejo. Present. Rosa Irma Flores de Linares. Present teacher. Thank you, miss. Serena Susana Galvez Seren. Present teacher. Tatiana Maria Hernandez Dubon. Present teacher. Thank you. Wendy Lisette uh, Cruz Hernandez. Present. Thank you. Wilber Enrique Jacinto Martinez. Present teacher. Thank you. William Vladimir Mulato Guevara. Present. Thank you. Yesenia Maribel Palacio de Hernandez. Yesenia Maribel Palacio de Hernández. Yesenia Pamela Hernández Arrucha. Present. Thank you. All right, so if I didn't ask, if I didn't mention your name, let me know, okay? So, okay, let's get back on track. Este, vamos a ver. ¿Cuál era su pregunta, mi estimada? Mi coach, que si podría explicar sobre la tarea. Es que hay una parte en la que no entiendo, donde uh -huh. eh, hay unos como lo, los verbos, entonces no sé si los verbos los tenemos que poner en pasado o simplemente como estructurarlas con el did y ponerles el did. En... Okay. Entonces, ¿Cuál, no ¿cuál era la tarea? Porque o sea, no, no estoy sabedor de, esa, de, ese, de, de ese punto, mi estimada. En la plataforma aparece la... Entonces es de complementar con... Ok, mira, mítame, vamos a ver. Compañera, el, verbo, sí. el verbo word, did, usted do. acaba de escribir ahí y solo ed le agrega, pero uh -huh. al ponerlo allá, la estructura del, de la pregunta está hay hay y entre paréntesis not word. Entonces, eh, ahí tengo duda con relación si... Tienen que poner didn't, didn't word. Es la, 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 la. Ajá. Okay, Porque gracias. es como negación, eso sí es en pasado. Ah, vale, Me lo están pidiendo en negativo. No el pasado es. De... All right, so, ¿están viendo lo que estoy viendo en este momento, aquí. guys? Yes, coach. Ok, yes. ex excellent. All right, so, do you guys already check? Yeah, dígame, José. I did. ¿Tiene la manita levantada ahí, José? José David, bueno, ya no. No, 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 okay. para 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 esta okay. Tenemos okay. Que... ok, les pregunto, ¿este video ya lo vieron? Yes. Ok, excelente. Cool. Very good, very good. All right, how long is it going to take? But we're going to watch it again, ok? So, si put past statements with the regular verbs, right? So, ahí va a estar la respuesta que la, que la, que la, que la compañera quería, ¿verdad? Cuando es una negación, si es, si es, si es, si es, uh, una pregunta que yo le como le preguntaba al caballero do you what do you do last weekend I mean or do you go do you go on vacations last weekend usted me dice yes I did sí fui sí tomé mis vacaciones no I don't no I didn't no las tomé es no las tomé sí las tomé no las tomé sí las tomé ok negación afirmación que al mismo tiempo pues es pasado verdad do you si yo le pregunto, pregunta bien, no personal, ¿verdad? Pero si usted me pregunta, hey, do you take a shower? 
o sea, usted queda así como que, ¿por qué me está preguntando, esta, me está haciendo esta pregunta, verdad? Like, do you take a shower? Y usted me dice, pero como soy su, su primo, su hermano, yo le pregunto, hey, do you take a shower? Carlos, Julio, yes, I did. No, I didn't. Una respuesta bien sencilla, ¿verdad? Si lo tomé, no lo tomé, ¿verdad? Entonces vamos a ver este video rápido. Sorry. Hi, everyone. In this class, you learn to form positive and negative statements in the simple past using regular verbs. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, I didn't study. Let's listen and practice. Hi, Jennifer. Did you have a good weekend? Well, I had a busy weekend, and I feel a little tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I exercised in the morning. Then my roommate and I cleaned, did laundry, and shopped. And then I visited my parents. So what did you do on Sunday? I studied for the test all day. Oh, no. Do we have a test today? I didn't study. I just watched television all weekend. Let's get started by practicing these statements in the past. Simple past statements. Regular verbs. I studied on Sunday. I didn't study on Saturday. You watched television. You didn't watch a movie. So as you can see here, guys, uh, the teacher is uh, explaining how you guys are going to identify the simple past statements with regular verbs. Esta, I study on Sundays, on Sundays, I'm, I'm Sunday, I'm sorry, and I didn't study on Saturday. So, el domingo sí estudió, pero el sábado no estudió. Si ¿Sí, sí se explica esta parte, ¿sí? Yes? No? Yes, coach. Okay, very good, very good. Excellent. She stayed home. She didn't stay out. We shopped for groceries. We didn't shop for clothes. They exercised on Saturday. They didn't exercise on Sunday. Didn't equals did not. Explicación rápida. Si usted en algún caso mira, did not is the same thing as didn't. ¿Verdad? Solamente que eso usted lo puede utilizar. I did not, I did not go. I did not, I did not apply. All right. So solamente es de que usted lo va a hacer contractado. Si ¿Sí me explico. Didn't and did not. All right. Eso no es lo mismo. No se me vaya a confundir. Spelling. Watch. Watched. W-A-T-C-H-E-D. Exercise. Exercised. E X E R C I S E D. Study. Studied. S T U D I E D. Stay. Stayed. S T A Y E D. Shop. Shopped. S H O P P E D. Let's analyze the examples on the chart now. I would like to get started with positive statements. Before I start, though, I would like to point out the verbs towards the right hand side of the chart. When talking about the past and Never. the moment. D. All right, guys, we're going to stop right here. We're going to stop right here. And let me give you the last instructions, all right, before I let you go. All right, so las, las tareas yo se las voy, la voy a estar subiendo o se las voy a estar poniendo en el grupo de WhatsApp, all right? So este, la tarea que le dejó la, la maestra anterior, pues hágala y usted la sube. Esto no es obligación. ¿Verdad? No es obligación. Yo la, trato la manera que no este, cargarlo mucho, pero si usted la puede hacer y puede hacer el esfuerzo de, de pasarla en un PDF, usted me la puede poner en el, en el grupo, and that's it. 
All right, si usted puede. Si usted está cargado de, de, de trabajo, acuérdese que tiene suficiente con la plataforma. Acuérdese que tiene que completar los ejercicios antes del viernes. Si lo puede hacer ahora o, el, o mañana, más tardar antes de las 3 de la tarde, usted lo hace para que no tenga problemas con su evaluación final. Usted ya lleva tres meses acá, pues ya sabe cómo trabajamos, ¿verdad? Solamente le hago recordar esos puntos. De igual, si le voy a estar subiendo información al grupo de WhatsApp para que estemos siempre en sintonía. Y, como le repito, no, no es que mandatory that you need to complete the assignments. No. If you can, do it. If you cannot, don't do that. All right? So, no quiero que se me vaya este caer ahí en su casa, ¿verdad? Para estar haciendo las cosas bien rápido. No, no, tranquilo. Ok? So, en este caso, pues, este, creo que lo, los, los veo mañana y, pues, es, vamos a ver, eh, vamos a terminar de completar este curso. Eh, ha sido un placer uh, estar con ustedes y Esperemos que todo salga bien al final de este curso, ¿ok? So, no hay más que decir, pues lo veo mañana. Así que, pues, pase una feliz noche en have a good night, ¿ok? Take it easy. Gracias, teacher. Buenas noches. Good night, teacher. Good See you tomorrow. Good night, good night teacher. Thank you, guys. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Take it easy. Good night, teacher. Take it easy. Bye-bye.